Hi, I'm Katie Roth. And I'm Leah Devin Sorrentino. And we're Embrace, Release, Surrender. Katie and I both consider ERS the world's leading experience in personalized self-care. Ever since I've encountered Embrace, Release, Surrender, I've really harnessed all these tools of self-care that have helped me build my, a, a bubble of my own creation, really. Embrace, Release, Surrender is important to us. It's important to me because I needed something that I could self-indulge in to combat all the outside influences that try to attack my world. And I needed something to live for. And hopefully you can find meaning too in ERS. Before ERS, I was consumed with all of the outside problems, and now, through self-care, I'm only focused on me. You're gonna learn so many coping skills. How to cry, how to be curious, and how to have true experiences of all. You'll become an extension of our personal family. We care about you, and we want you to care about yourself. Being a part of the Embrace, Release, Surrender family has given me a sense of how we can do this on our own, but together. So let's get started. All of these simple steps are easy to follow. These are some important skills that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life. And just remember, this is all about you and how you feel, and not about worrying about anyone else or the rest of your community. My biggest takeaway from Embrace, Release, Surrender is that nothing else matters, only yourself. Physical self-care. Psychological self-care. Emotional self-care. Spiritual self-care. Eat healthy. Exercise. Get regular medical care for prevention. Get medical care when needed. Take time off when sick. Get massages. Dance, swim, walk, run. Get enough sleep. Take day trips or mini vacations. Make time away from telephones, email, and the internet. Make time for self-reflection. Write in a journal. Attend to minimizing stress in your life. Go to an art show, sports event, or the theater. Spend time with others whose company you enjoy. Give yourself affirmation. Reread favorite books. Review favorite movies to cry. Make you laugh. Express your outrage in social actions, letters, donations, marches. Spend time in nature. Be open to inspiration. Cherish your optimism and hope. Meditate, pray, sing. Figure out a way to do it all, all the time. After today, you'll take these lessons you've learned and use them to make meaning in what often feels like a futile existence. The biggest takeaway that I've gained from Embrace, Release, Surrender is that whatever I do for my self-care, um, there could be more. Uh, the whole family, they show me that there's so many more ways that I could be caring for myself, that what I'm doing is never enough on my own. Um, so they're always having me you know, strive and challenging me to do more. Um, and I, it's honestly just great that I never feel satisfied with what I'm currently doing, because of course we could always improve. You're not gonna get it right the first time. You're gonna have these conversations with your friends and family over and over and over and over again. But today, you can turn to the person to the right of you and to the left of you and ask for help. Embrace Really Surrender has helped me convince my friends and family that the only solution to all of their exterior problems is to focus entirely on self-care. Whenever my friends or family tell me they don't have enough time, money, or resources for self-care, I just try to point them in the direction to either get a second or third job even. That's what I'm doing, right? And it helps me afford all of these, you know, self-care routines, these beauty regimens, these exercise classes. Um, you know, I, I don't need to rely on my family and friends for that. That's, I'm supposed to rely on myself for my own self-care, right? Because um, it's just for me. Welcome to the team. We hope that you're ready to embrace, release, surrender. surrender.